afternoon, ladies and gents, boys and girls. My name's Tom Dye, and welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. Videos where I share with you lots of tips and tricks on how to become a better flair bartender. And today I've got for you some super awesome badass rolls. Not these kind of rolls, these kind of rolls. <laughs> teaching you some rolls, and I'm gonna start with the basics and work up to some more difficult moves. So stick around. Right, I'm giving away this fabulous cocktail set for this video. If you wanna win this cocktail set, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and then leave a comment in the comments box below. And on my next video, I'll be announcing who will be the lucky winner of this fantabulous cocktail set. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I upload the next video. Right, let's get straight to it. And I'm gonna start with the shaker. So the first roll you need to learn is the roll up. How we do this is you start by spinning the shaker in your hand using your fingertips. Once that's spinning, you're gonna stick your hand under the shaker and push it through the shaker and then it'll just roll up your arm. Now there's many ways you can finish this move, but here's three. Catch in front of you, catch behind you, or catch behind you with the same hand that you rolled with. One of my favorite moves that is. The next move is a bit of an upgrade to the previous one. Here's how it looks. You're gonna start by throwing the shaker up in the air and letting the tint roll off of your fingers like this. Once it's up in the air, you're gonna put your arm back like this, let it roll down your arm, control it with your fingers to so then Spin it again, then you're gonna put your hand underneath and complete the final part of the move. It's a toughie, but I believe in you. <laughs> There's a naked lady in the house! And we are live on Facebook. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes! Right, the next one is the roll around. A very, very old school move. Here's how it looks. The same as before, you wanna get that spin going. You're gonna stick your arm underneath again, and then instead of letting it fall off the back, you're gonna lean back. Lean back, lean back, okay? And then it's gonna roll across your chest, onto the other arm, and down your arm. Okay, top tip here is if you practice to do this to begin with, and then you can learn to control that roll, and then it's gonna be much easier when you put the whole thing together. Together forever, woo -hoo. Right, the next one I like to call the Leone roll looks like this. Great to use behind your bar if you pick up your shaker, you can just roll it across your arm, and you can perform it any way around, this way or this way. So when you pick up your shaker, all you're doing is rolling it up your arm, okay? But what you wanna do is, again, you gotta push your arm through the shaker. So I start here and I kinda end there. Right, we're gonna move on to some bottle rolls and I'm gonna use the Tom's Fly Bottle. This is the best practice bottle in the world. If you wanna get into flair or you want a bottle that's gonna last you forever, this is the one. There's a link in the description below if you wanna get yours. We ship worldwide. So let's start with the most obvious, which is the roll down. The trick with this is when you place it on your shoulder, you don't put it on your shoulder, you put it to the top of your arm and then you step into it. So you rock into the move and that little rock is gonna help push the bottle forwards and down your arm. And then it's just a case of controlling that roll. Don't stretch your arm out straight, keep it nice and relaxed and bent and it become much easier. The next one is one which I never really see and it's the roll up. So the opposite of what we've just done. It looks like this. It 
this is a very simple move to get. And the same with the shaker, you wanna get that spin going. And when you spin it and throw it up, okay, you want a little, little turn of the bottle. You stick your hand underneath again, woo, and up it rolls. Simple as that. Okay, here's a good one that I used to do on stage. Looks like this. It's the same as the roll down, but we're throwing from behind our back up through the gap. It's gonna come up just a flat throw land here and I cushion that catch by using my legs and then it just rolls down your arm. Okay, I've got one more roll left and I made it up especially for this video. Here's how it looks. You're gonna grab the bottle like this, you're gonna grab the shaker like this, and you're gonna bring the bottle around. Now you're gonna keep the shaker in this position, but tip back that way even more. So you're in this very, very awkward position. Now from here, you're gonna roll the bottle down with the end of the bottle inside the shaker. Super awkward and you're doing it slowly. And then from there, you're gonna push the bottle over. Once you push over, you grab with those two free fingers and you keep turning and you make your paw. So all together, it looks like this. So there you go, there's some super awesome rolls that you can start using behind your bar, competitions or shows. Don't forget, if you wanna win that prize of the professional cocktail kit, be subscribed to the channel, leave me a comment in the comments box below. <gasps> and if you wanna see more videos from me, you can check out my Patreon, where I'm uploading more tutorials, there's bloopers over there. Uh, I'm also uploading my three minute Thursday videos where I'm doing more tutorials on flair bartending. But thank you so much for watching, all the way until the end especially. I really do hope you like this video. Give it a like if you do. Until next time, see you then. You're not leave every time you leave. Not now, because it's like, bye.